The full ferocity of Hurricane Sandy as it battered the coast. The winds at maximum strength, the ocean whipped up into a storm surge, and it lasted for hour after hour. As the flood water rises, car alarms are being set off. New Jersey bore the brunt of the onslaught. This was the town of Hoboken. This amateur footage shows how at this stage there was still some power, but floodwaters were filling the streets. First morning after Hurricane Sandy strikes Hoboken. And the same scene by daylight. The place paralyzed after the storm surge had swept inland, far more extensively than forecast. Along the New Jersey coast, a trail of destruction. Just inland, an extraordinary sight, what looks like snow. In fact, it's sand, vast quantities of it blown off the shore and into the streets. Here it was the wind that did the damage. Other areas suffered more from flooding. Overall, the impact has been devastating. Beyond anything I thought I'd ever see. Uh, terrible. And so we need to remain uh, patient. Uh, let the waters recede and then we can go in and make a full assessment about rebuilding uh, that area of the Jersey Shore. But it is, um, it is a devastating sight right now. What's made this superstorm so damaging is its sheer size, stretching over a thousand miles as it hit the coast, and it's still got a lot of potential to cause harm. The fastest winds at 65 miles per hour were less fierce than forecast, and they're now slowing down. But the storm surge was worse than expected, peaking at almost 14 feet. That's about four metres in New York Harbour, a record intensified by the high tide and a full moon. Now the storm is mixed up with a cold weather system, icy air from Canada. Technically, the storm is no longer a hurricane, but it's fuelled by a dramatic contrast in temperatures, and it's still dangerous. The storm surge reached the outskirts of Washington. The good news is that most people listened to the warnings and got out of harm's way. But this is a natural disaster on a vast scale. The storm isn't finished yet, and the authorities are still trying to understand the full extent of its impact. David Shukman, BBC News.